Hey guys and welcome to the Parrot Bros. Today we're going to be doing a video on wheels. If you're considering maybe changing your wheels, whether it be for stock or aftermarket, we're going to go through everything that you need to know so you can get the right wheels that won't rub. <laughs> Let's jump into the intro. Now, you may be considering maybe changing your wheels for original wheels or for aftermarket. Now, we're going to cover everything that you need to know in this video um, to make the right choice. Because basically, you don't want to buy a set of wheels, spend three, four, five hundred pounds on wheels, get, maybe get them refurbished, maybe buy tyres, fit them, and then they rub. Or they don't fit, or <laughs> I can think of a hundred reasons. I've seen so many people um, bought the wheels, they look right but the studs don't line up or they sit too far out, too far in, they rub, all that sort of good stuff. So we're going to cover everything you need to know right here, right now. So if we'll start with, on a TT, they have a five hole pattern, which is called a PCD. Um, it's five by 100. Um, if you don't know what PCD is, just literally Google wheel PCD and it will show you how it's measured. Um, so these are TTs and similar models like uh, A3s of a similar era. Um, Leons, see it Leons, uh, Golf Mark IVs, all same same um, fitment, and also some Subarus and stuff like that. Um, now the center ball is a, a the circle on your hub where the wheels sit. So when you take your wheel off, that little circle in the middle with the studs going around it, or the holes going around it, that is your center ball. Now on a TT, that is fifty seven point one. Okay, so that's the size of the hole in the wheel that you're going to need to buy. Now you can buy bigger but you can't buy smaller. So we'll go through all the spec in a minute. I just wanted to get the figures out there quick so I can keep referring back to them and you know what I'm talking about. Um, and then offset. Now on a TT, uh, we'll go through the details in a minute, but most wheels are um, about between 30 and 33 offset. Um, and that is so dependent on how far out or in they sit, depending on the offset. Now, um, again, I'll put a picture up now so you can see the difference of what a high and low offset looks like. But if you need more information, maybe watch a video specifically about this. But we'll cover in this video what offset you can get away with and what you sort of need to look at about that. Um, and also, most stock wheels will use a radius wheel bolt. Now, I'll put a picture up again. Now, this is radius and tapered. Um, most, if not all, genuine Audi wheels on a TT will have a radius um, bolt hole which is a bit like a domed sort of semicircle. Um, now, if you fit the wrong wheel bolts, so say you bought a spacer kit and you bought the wrong bolts, didn't realize there was a difference, um, tapered bolts could actually work loose, which nobody wants. Um, <laughs> so that is another thing to bear in mind. So these are the sort of the key information that we need to know um, when making choices about wheels. Now, um, so I'm just referring back to what are my notes here, just so I don't give you the wrong information. Um, there's... Not that many choices of wheels for a TT. Now, I've done quite a bit of research. I've looked on stock um, suppliers and genuine part numbers and stuff like that. And there's basically three different styles of 16s. And then there's a winter option. There's four different styles of 17s and four different styles of 18s. Now, if you want anything other than that, you will have to go either aftermarket or OEM, but from a different platform, like uh, maybe Mark IV Golf Anniversary wheels or something like that. So... Um, I'll quickly go through the stock options and I'll flag up some pictures for you now. So there's a five spoke um, speed line alloy, which is 16 inch and it's 7J. So that's the width of the wheel. So it's seven inches wide. Um, there's uh, with an offset of 31. There's a seven spoke 7J, so seven inches wide, ET 31. Um, there's a 10 spoke, which is a 6J, again, ET 31. Uh, and there's a winter of another one. Um, moving on to the 17s, there is uh, what everyone knows as comp wheels, which are normally five spoke and they're normally diamond cut, sometimes have been powder coated, so they're not diamond cut. Um, so they're 17 inch, they're 7.5 inches wide and they're an offset of 32. There's a six spoke with a sort of a dip center um, and they're 7.5 inches wide, 17, with an offset of 32. There's the Ronald six spokes, which is probably the most common 17 inch wheel used on the TT platform. Um, and then again, 7.5 inches wide, 17 inch round and uh, ET32. 
And then there's a, uh, a seven spoke winter equivalent of the same one again, which is basically on the winter wheels, they're a bit narrower, um, I guess, to cut through the snow. Uh, and 18s, there's four options. Now there's the nine spoke, which most call the RS star wheels, because the B5 RS4 had similar shape wheels. Um, they're 8J, so they're 8 inches wide, 18 inch diameter, ET33. Uh, BBS two piece, known as the RS2s, similar to the RS2s. Um, two piece wheels, they're 8 inches wide, 18 inches diameter, ET33. There's the Ronalds, which are the V6 wheels, uh, which is what I have on mine. These are 7.5 inches wide, 18 inch diameter, ET32. And then you've got the Quattro Sport wheels, uh, genuine ones, so they're staggered, which is eight inches wide at the front, 8.5 inches wide at the back, 18 inch diameter. And these, the offset, are 26 on the front, 25 on the rear. Now, there is a couple of other options which I'll touch on quickly, but I won't go into too much detail on. You can buy some aftermarket fitment, but I believe they were supplied from new, if I'm wrong, down in the description. Um, but there's a, an ABT option and there's a Votex option. Now, I believe these were fitted at factory for extra cost as a styling pack, maybe. Um, and you can get them 18 inch. I don't know a great deal of spec because I couldn't find loads of information on spec, but I'll put, I'll put some pictures up for you. There's one piece, two piece, there's 17s, there's 18s. Um, again, they're about eight inches wide, ET33, so similar fitment. Now, basically, the most important information is, obviously, you need the centre board to be right. So that's the, the centre where the wheel sits onto the hub. Um, that needs to be no smaller than 57.1. Now, if the wheel is smaller, it won't fit. You can't, we can get the machine, we wheel machined out, but you don't want to be doing that. So basically 50 point, 57.1 or bigger. If it's bigger, you can buy something called a spigot ring, which is a plastic or metal insert which goes inside the wheel, which then brings it down to 57.1. So basically when you're locating the wheel, you lift it up onto the hub, you've got to put your wheel nuts in and it basically won't fall off. Um, and it will just be nice and snug. And it will just means that the wheel won't be out of, out of balance when you come to tighten it down. And then you'll get that horrible wobble when you're driving down the road. So 57.1 is the goal, whether it's aftermarket or factory. Um, five by 100 is your wheel stud pattern. Um, so they're probably the most two most important things. Now, the third um, thing to cover is the offset. Now, if it's a really high offset, that basically means the, the wheel uh, where it bolts to the hub will be quite far to the edge of the car. Now, um, Vauxhalls, for instance, they're like 49.50. So they have a lot of wheel on the inside and then obviously where the wheel bolts up is right at the face. Um, if you were to say, for instance, get an ET0, that means that basically there's your wheel, halfway in between it is where it bolts up. So you'll have sort of an equal amount of space front and back. And on a TT, uh, most wheels, like I said, are ET31 to 33. Now also, most TTs you can fit, well I say all TTs really, you can fit 15 mil spaces all round. Now, uh, ET is measured in millimeters. So if you've got an ET of 30, let's uh, use my, my example. So uh, V6 wheels are a 32, okay? So I've got 50 mil spacers all round, which means my wheels are actually ET17 and they don't rub, they're fine. Which means I could, for instance, go and buy a 7.5 inch width wheel with an ET of 17 and they won't rub. See, you're learning already. Now, there is a website um, which is called Will They Fit? Now this website is amazing for um, getting wheel configurations because you can put in wheels, you can put in the tires, you can put in the width, the diameter and everything. It will tell you the differences you'll get. So if you had, um, you put your factory wheels in, you've got no spaces, nothing. You put all your, your factory details in. So the size of the wheel, the width, the diameter, um, the size of the tires and all that stuff. And then basically, you can say pick a wheel off of uh, Google, eBay, wherever you want to buy wheels. Um, you can put that detail information in. You can also put the tires you maybe want to run. And it will tell you where the wheel will sit compared to where your wheel does at the moment. So it might say, oh, it might stick out 10 more mil on the inside. So you can go up to your car, get underneath it, have a look. Have you got 10 mil of space between the edge of the tire and where your suspension strut is? If you do great. If you don't, then you might need spaces. But then if you add spaces, you can also add lower the ET number. Say if you've got a 10 mil spacer in your ET30, make it ET20, 
that gives you a 10 mil spacer. Then it might say, oh, it will stick out 20 mil at the front. So then you can go out again, tape measure out, will it fit? So that's a really good way of checking wheels. Now, um, like I said, TTs are limited. And to be honest, most cars, I'll flag up loads of pictures, I've got loads of pictures here, of aftermarket wheels. And these are all different wheels that people have got to fit. And I, I've seen people with um, 9.5 inch wheels, um, because obviously if you imagine you've got a 15 mil spacer, or a tw so you can run 20 mil spacers on some wheels, um, that's nearly an inch. So if you've got an eight inch wheel, you can make it a nine inch, it won't rub, there's space, so why not? But this video was really just to give you an idea of what factory is, and maybe if you wanted some factory wheels, what's available. The BBS ones, the splits are gorgeous, If you, especially if you change the insert to uh, like a slightly darker gray to the polished lip or body color. Maybe not on mine, because Agaro Blue Centers is a bit bright, but. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so um, that is, is kind of what I wanted to get to. So if you were going to look and say you wanted some aftermarket wheels, or you're thinking of changing your wheels, now you kind of know where you need to aim for. Um, what I'll do actually, let's grab the camera and I'll show you this wheel they fit quickly. So this is, let me turn off my blue light here. So I'll just give you a quick, oh, excuse me, dropping everything. So this is the wheel they fit that I was on about. Now, um, what I've done is I've put in the difference here. So this is my, Existing setup, so this is my 2254018 with a 7.5 inch V6 wheel, 32 offset, which is correct, which means, and then I've also put in the details here, um, same tyres, same width, and I've just minus 15 mil for my spacer. Um, and then I've, you calculate it, and then you come down here, and it tells you, obviously all the differences, it'll tell you obviously the the speedo reading will be the same because my tires are the same size, same wheels and everything. Um, but it says here, poke and insert. Now, if you come down here, uh, orange is your factory, um, like the factory information you put in. And then this is the information that your, your new wheels that you want to change. And as you can see here, look, so you've got a 15 mil gap there, 15 mil gap there. So it's basically saying that my wheels will sit 15 mil out. Now, um, let's pick, uh, let's say we're going to keep the same tyres, but we're going to fit an 8 inch wheel with a 30 offset. Um, actually, no, let's do, let's, let's go a bit crazy. Let's go 8.5 and we'll go with a 30 offset and we'll also put a 235 tyre on. Why not? Make the most of the whip. So now that detail has changed, obviously. Um, you're going to lose a less than one mile an hour. Um, at 60, so that's not too much to worry about. And it basically shows here, because obviously it's green, so it's showing that you've got, um, how much insert have we got? So, it's showing us here. So here, yeah, look, here in this purple bit. Yeah, there you go, I'll show you there. So yeah, compared to your existing wheel, this new wheel will have an inner rim, which is 10.7 mil closer to the suspension strut, so that's there. Uh, and the outer rim will also poke out 14.7 mil more than before. So now you know, if you've, say you've, I don't know, you want some, some rotor forms or something like that, say you fancy these and these are 8.5s, um, you know if they're a 30 offset and you wanted to run some 235s, that this is the extra space that you're going to need to find. Um, so you might be able to find that space, you might need a 5 mil spacer just to lose this here a little bit because it's too close to the strut, or uh, we can also change you can play about with it tire wise you can obviously um, pick different tires and whatnot um but yeah so it basically shows the wheels obviously we've got the same tires so it's got the same rolling radius so the speedo doesn't change but the width obviously the width of the wheel is still the same uh, but it's just a good way of showing you guys um what is available what you can do and all that great stuff so obviously if you've got any questions about this um, give me a shout, I'll be more than happy to help you. It's all pretty straightforward, um, but I just kind of wanted to just show you what it is and what's involved, how you work it out, give you a rough idea. I mean, if you don't fully understand it, jump into the comments, I'll be more than happy to help. Um, but this just makes it a little bit easier. If you are looking to change your wheels, you get an idea of how to do it. I tell you what, what's your favorite wheel? Down in the description, on a Mark 1 TT, what wheel do you think looks best? factory, aftermarket, what, what exact brand model? Let's have a bit of a debate. <laughs>
Thanks for watching guys, that's another video from the Parrot Bros. Bye for now.